Okay, what is the difference between an interval run, a tempo run, and a fart leg run? I'm gonna to try to explain as simply as possible the differences between each and how they are similar. I'm gonna give you examples of each and tell you which area of your running game they help you to improve. But it was all off the back of this question that I received in the comments. Mohammed says, can you make a video where you explain the difference between an interval run, a tempo run, and a fart leg run. Now, this is an often asked question that I get because they are so similar and they're often used by coaches and athletes, runners at all levels, interchangeably. And so if we look at the definition of the words, interval, tempo, and fart leg, interval just means a segment of time or a segment of distance. So a minute might be an interval or a kilometer might be an interval. Tempo is a Latin word that means time and then was taken on by the Italians and used in music to talk about rhythm. So if you think of that as time spent at a rhythm, you're not far off. Fartlek is the Swedish word for speed play. Literally, fart means speed and lek means play. So playing with speed, if you think about it simply in those terms, it all of a sudden becomes a lot more easy. So an interval session, a good example is six times one kilometer or 20 times one minute a segment of time that we're repeating at higher intensity than we can hold currently for the race that we're preparing for, usually. So if we're preparing for a marathon, we might do 20 times one minute faster than that marathon pace. If we're preparing for 5K, we might do six times a kilometer at the pace that we're aiming for, for 5K. The purpose is speed and speed endurance, generally. Now a tempo run, also known as a threshold run, is a segment of time, usually a longer segment of time, usually 20 to 40 minutes, where we're working at or faster than the pace we're intending to run in the race that we're aiming for. So a good example of that might be 20 minutes at the pace that we can sustain for one hour. And it's working on our lactate threshold. Fat leg run is again working on our speed endurance. And it's also helping us to move up and down gears to change pace. So a great session that I love to do is 30 times a minute at marathon pace or at the race pace that I'm targeting. And 60 seconds in between is not standing still, but it's floating. And that's usually around about 20% or 30% slower than the race pace. So for example, if I'm aiming for a 220 marathon, the marathon pace will be about 320 per, per kilometer pace. And then the floats will be at four minutes pace. And this is to me where it gets fun. And this is where we start to see coaches and athletes using the same terms interchangeably. So one coach might be mean one thing and another coach might be talking about another type of set, completely different type of session, but it's essentially the same thing and it's working on the same area of your game. If you look to the internet, intervals will be described as going to improve your speed, speed endurance and VO2 max. Tempo, will be to improve your lactate threshold. And fat leg will be described as a purpose to improve your anaerobic and aerobic because you're playing with speed. I often talk on this channel about interval sessions and they may be one minute intervals, three minute intervals, 10 minute intervals, 400 meter intervals, kilometer intervals. Five different types of interval sessions are these. VO2 max intervals. And that might be six times a kilometer. You could then do lactate threshold intervals, and that might be four times two kilometers. You could then do speed intervals, and it might be 10 times 200 meters, or hill intervals, it might be 10 times 60 seconds, or even fat leg intervals, where it might be a ladder that goes 200, 400, 600 meters, 800 meters, 1,000 meters, and back down 800 meters, 600 meters, 400 meters, 200 meters, with 200 meters in between, that is run at 20% slower than the pace that you're running in a rep or just jogging. Those are all types of interval sessions. And guess what you spot through, through talking through those or through hearing through those? You spot that they kind of feed into the other two. So spark like intervals there. So what do you notice there in those five sessions? You notice that there are speed intervals, there are lactate threshold intervals, they're fat like intervals. They're all working on a different area of your game. Speed intervals will work on building your VO2 max. Six times a kilometer will work on building your VO2 max, depending on what pace and effort you're running at. 
So it's about raising our game in the different levels as we're moving up. As we're working through the gears and going from recovery run to easy run, to running faster, to running hills, to running maybe 5K pace, maybe marathon pace, to making a specific segment or a progressive run in the long run, but a specific segment in the long run at maybe tempo pace, all used interchangeably. And so keep it simple for yourself. If you're training for a marathon, then the biggest indicator of how well you're gonna do is lactate threshold and what you can get that to. So I'd want to be building pace around about that lactate threshold area and faster. It's obviously gonna be really important how good your endurance and stamina is too, and your mental toughness. If you're working with 5K, there's a massive crossover there, but you'd probably wanna be doing more work at the 5K pace and even faster to make that as comfortable as possible for yourself for longer. If I'm training for a marathon and I'm aiming for 220 and my PB for 5K is 15 minutes and my PB for marathon is 221, that's about 320 per kilometer for the marathon and three minutes for 5K. And then my recovery runs are usually done between 440 per kilometer, five minutes and 520 per kilometer. So if you look at the three different sessions, the interval sessions, and we're trying to boost that VO2 max, and that, if that is what you're calling the definition of an interval session, then those will typically be run at 5K pace or even faster. So I'd be running them intervals at three minutes or 245, 250 to three minutes per kilometer. If I do a tempo session, that might look something like the total session is an hour and 20 minutes of that are at marathon pace or 10% quicker than marathon pace. So I run that segment of 20 minutes at 320 pace or 310 pace or three minutes pace, depending on how I'm feeling and what the purpose of that session is. For fartlek, it might be that you've got three different paces and you've got a recovery pace, a moderate pace, and then your on pace, what I like to call it. And that might be something like, okay, I'm working with my 5K pace, I'm working with my marathon pace at moderate pace, and then I'm working with my recovery pace at five minutes per kilometer. So I think the key here is when we hear tempo run or interval session or fat leg run, these are all words used in running books, by running coaches, by athletes, important to know what we actually mean. So what does it mean to you? What effort should you be putting in? And you can obviously see your heart rate for that, or what pace should be, you be running them at? If you're in a hot climate, it's really important to think more about the effort than the pace. It's really difficult, you know, I just had an athlete who went from the UK to the Canary Islands, and all of a sudden he's like, whoa, it's so much more difficult to do six times a kilometer or run 5K at all out pace, because the heart rate is at least 10 to 20% more. So it's important to factor that in. So great question and a common question from a lot of runners. And I hope I answered that as simply and concise as possible because I don't want to make this overcomplicated. It's just pushing yourself at different effort levels so that we're raising our game over the different levels, whether we're trying to run 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon or ultra marathon. 